of Howard forming the Hanafi American Muslim Rifle and Pistol Club. And in 1971, they converted one of the biggest NBA stars in the world, Lou Alcindor, better known as Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. That's like getting the LeBron James of their era. Now, Abdul-Jabbar's conversion was shrouded in controversy, similar to the conversion uh, of, to the Nation of Islam by Muhammad Ali. Now, the story goes, the nation attempted to recruit Kareem Abdul-Jabbar to the nation as well, with Abdul-Jabbar stating, they visited me, I was taken to dinner by one of their ministers in Cassius Clay. I'll call him Cassius Clay or Cassius X, but not by the name of the prophet. He is not a Muslim. This signified the beef between the nation of Islam and the Hanafi. He also goes on to state that my own decision wasn't influenced by Ali. I know a lot of people that were in the nation and it just didn't appeal to me. You see, Abdul Jabbar felt that Malcolm X and Sunni Islam was a purer form of Islam. Now, Hamas Abdul Khalis' form of Islam was different from the nation in that he did not believe in segregation and supported America and wearing the American flag on his lapel, also flying its flag in front of his home. He stated, I teach that Islam is, not for, uh, is for everyone and not just for blacks. That's why the American flag is out front of my house. I'm not going back to Africa. So in 1971, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar purchased a field stone mansion smack dab in the middle of Washington, D.C. for $78,000 and donated it to Hamas abdul Khalis and the Hanafis. It was a private home in the Shepherd Park neighborhood, which was a black upper class area in D.C. known as the Gold Coast. The house today is worth almost $2 million. The home would serve as the headquarters of the Hanafi movement, and by the end of 1972, its membership boasted in the thousands. Also in 1972, Khalis turned his efforts into discrediting the Nation of Islam. He circulated an open letter that referred to Elijah Muhammad as a lying deceiver and that he lured former dope addicts and prostitutes to monk-like lives of sacrifice that would lead them to hell. He sent this letter to over 57 Nation of Islam mosques across the country. And in 1973, he sent out a three-page letter denouncing Elijah Muhammad and the black Muslims as false prophets and questioned many of their beliefs. Khalees claimed credit for Malcolm X's leaving the Nation of Islam. In, 19, in a 1973 interview, Khalees said that he was teaching Malcolm X about Sunni Islam. Khalees states that he used to come to my house on Long Island and we would sit in his car for hours. He would meet me after he left the temple, never in public because he knew they were after him. He knew he was saying the wrong thing. As mentioned earlier, Hamas sent the letter to 57 different mosques across the nation, one of them being the notorious Philadelphia, Philadelphia Temple No. 12, also known as the Murder Temple. Now, rest across the nation, one of them being the notorious Philadelphia, Philadelphia Temple No. 12, also known as the Murder Temple. Now, rest assured, the Muhammad Mosque No. 12 will be the subject of my next episode, in addition to their members being associated with the death of Malcolm X, they are also accredited with being the driving force behind crime in Philadelphia's underworld and for their association with the Black Mafia. Now, for speaking out against the nation, Temple Number 12 wanted get back. 